Attention is the foundation of thought and communication, and yet few people pay attention to how we're deploying our attention on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. Today, more than ever, it's important that we begin paying attention to our attention because the screens in our lives are challenging our relationship with the physical world. Screens are attention magnets, and this can be a good thing, and it can also get in our way. Here's a press conference that Mark Zuckerberg is holding. How many people in the press conference are actually watching Mark Zuckerberg in the flesh? And how many are watching him on their screens? There's a famous video from a mall surveillance camera of a young woman who, while watching the screen on her smartphone, <laughs> fell into a fountain. And this is a famous selective attention test. If you haven't seen it, selective attention. Watch it. Count how many times the players wearing white pass the basketball. How many passes did you count? The correct answer is 15 passes. But did you see the gorilla? This video is from research by Daniel Simons and Christopher Chabri and is copyrighted. It is available for use in talks, training, and teaching on DVDs from VizCog Productions. Learn more at theinvisiblegorilla.com. Can we manage the distraction that our screens afford? Science and contemplative traditions say yes, we can, and it's not that difficult to get started. It's called metacognition, or being aware of how you're aware, or mindfulness. Attention to intention is how the mind shapes the brain. Neurons that fire together wire together. The more we evoke certain neural circuits, the easier they are to evoke. When we begin becoming aware of how we are deploying our attention, when we become be aware of how we are aware, we begin to strengthen that awareness. One good way to do that is through attention to the breath. Many forms of mindfulness meditation consist of observing the breath, and modern neuroscience confirms that the breath connects the mind and the body. Managing attention on screen requires managing your mind tools, knowing which form of awareness to use at any particular moment. And it also means managing your information tools, creating dashboards that, that mimic your attentional strategy. I use the NetVibes dashboard because it has three levels of attention. I can have different dashboards for different subjects. On an each dashboard, there's the level of the tab that you can easily create and drag and drop. And then there's the level of the feed. I like to put the, the tabs that are the most relevant to what I'm doing today on the left and those that are the least relevant on the right. And I, I need to move the feeds that are the most relevant to the top and those that are less relevant to the bottom. That way it's easy at a glance depending on what kind of time I have for a, attentional wandering to see what's coming in on my dashboard and to decide what to pay attention to. 
multitasking with multiple screens is prevalent today, yet research by Cliff Nass at Stanford and others seems to indicate that for 95% of the people who think they are becoming more efficient when they're multitasking, they are actually degrading their performance. However, we do know that some people are able to multitask. Aviators have to aviate, navigate, and communicate in three dimensions, and that's when nobody is shooting at them. Nobody knows quite yet whether fighter pilots are people who are particularly talented at multitasking their attention, or whether they are trained to be so, or whether it's a combination of both. Learning to manage attention is one of the most important challenges of the age of the smartphone, the laptop, and the desktop computer. Paying attention to intention is important. Only you know what your priorities are for the day. Don't forget to breathe. Linda Stone has noted that many people hold their breath when they're doing their email. She calls that email apnea. So one thing you can do is simply notice whether you're holding your breath and to take a deeper breath while you're sitting or standing in front of a screen. There's a one word daily focus mind map exercise that you can find by searching on one word daily focus. I like to write down my daily priorities in just a few words and put that piece of paper by the corner of my screen. And when my glance falls upon that piece of paper, I simply ask myself, where is my attention at this moment? And is it getting me any closer to where I want to be today? Notice what you're paying attention to, and you begin to develop a kind of metacognition, a kind of inner observer that knows where your attention is being deployed. Sure, you can, you can jump from link to link, but do it knowing what you're doing, and do it knowing what your priorities are. Attention is the foundation of thoughts and communication. The least we can do is spend a few minutes a day training it. Thank you.